What's up, everyone? YGL here with Gunther. Oh, what's up, dudes? And we're here to present, uh, as you know, the uh, Nebraska Project Plus Season 2 Power Rankings. So thanks for being here. Yeah, definitely. Like, this season was uh, really competitive. A lot of people coming out. You, you ended up doing some things this season, I guess. You know, reclaiming your title. Well, you know, I, I uh, you know, I had a good time this season. So, um, but so first, we're going to talk a little bit about the scene. You know, how much we've grown. Um, you know, that's really exciting. So, we really deserve to. Uh, the scene deserves to, uh, um, you know, be celebrated. So that's why I have this. Um, that's why I have this. Uh, slideshow going you know um we've had so many great moments um and this is only the beginning guys so thanks for being a part of this and um yeah so far really good numbers we've only been getting more with each like passing week last week uh didn't we have like the most entrance by far or? yeah oh well um ygl6 had 26 and um, then YGL7 at 23, so basically on par. Yeah, but, uh, you know, we run the weeklies, and, you know, we appreciate you guys coming out a lot. You know, we're just trying to play this game that we really like. But, you know, we wouldn't be any, we wouldn't be here without you guys. And also, huge shout-outs to Tyler, who put together this whole, whole fucking thing. He's putting his heart and soul into this scene. And, yes, bro. You know. Yeah, man, you know... Project Plus has always had a setup issue, a TV issue. Like, I've been to so many tournaments where there's one, two setups. Man. Oh, <coughs> Lincoln. Oh, oh man. Yeah. But even before then, you know. Um, so just tournaments were not uh, viable, really. So I said, fuck that. Once I saw the resurgence possible, I'm like, okay, let's just mod every single Wii I can find. <laughs> and so we did that. Um, and that's all it takes. Just have setups. This man is a walk-in tournament. Bring in five <laughs> setups at the minimum to uh, every event. Yes, sir. Streaming, organizing, running bracket, and competing. So at a high level, might I let me add, if you don't mind. So, so let, let's get to the meat. Why why people are people are hungry for seeing this PR? Yeah. So. Let's get into it. Um, really quick, we're going to do a recap of last season. Hey, high, high level in Nebraska, all right? <laughs> high level in Nebraska. Okay, so let's take a quick look at, um, at last season's PR. So at number five was Gunther. Hell yeah. Or Marth. <laughs> There's, that was the, the first time anyone had ever seen the, uh, the black Marth skin. Um, so that was exciting. Shout outs to I Like Pizza 107. Oh, yeah. Huge. Shout That's what I was forgetting earlier. Pizza, I know you're probably watching this, man. Just know I especially, and I'm pretty sure Tyler does too, appreciates, appreciates the ever-living fuck out of what you do, man. Uh, it's good having you around. Yeah, man. Thanks for being a part of uh, what we're doing here. So um, number five was Gunther. Number four was Culprit. Number three was Elclid. Number two was E Young Grime Lord. And at number one last season was Sergeant Penguin. So, with that said, let's take a look at Nebraska Project Plus Season 2 Power Rankings. So, to start it off... Moving down on the list, baby! <laughs> well... <laughs> Let's take a look at our honorable mention. Shifty. Oh, yeah, we actually have one. Yeah, we have an honorable mention. We didn't have one last season. Only thing holding Shifty back was his attendance. I really hope him losing to Brian is a big motivator to give P+. You know, you know, enter it, you know, try it out more often. Yeah, definitely. You know, it's good having a really good Martha on fucking... Yep, great practice for us. Um, and so let's, let's take a look at, uh, this format here. Um, so as you can probably <laughs> imagine, or you can gather that this is going to be neon white themed. Uh, that's been my game of the year. <laughs> and so, um, that's the format. 
Um, so here on the right, we have all the tournaments this season. Uh, on the right, uh, the far right is uh, where the player placed. And in the middle, you see um, character portraits. These are all the PR wins that a player has accumulated during that run. So green means a win and red means a loss. So uh, Shifty missed the first three tournaments. Um, and then at YGL3, our fourth tournament, he came in. He showed up. Like a wrecking ball. Holy shit. Look at that. Beating YGL, beating Sergeant Penguin, and getting second by losing to me twice in 10 freaking games. Now that set was so grueling, man. But man, seriously. I was sweating my ass off. Man. A <clears throat> 7-3 matchup, though. <laughs> uh, <yeah. laughs> oh, shit. But yeah, even at his other tournament, you know... Losing the HTK, you know, who's had a really good season so far. Nothing like, you know, plus Knuckles is broken as hell, so I can't blame him. But also getting that win on Plasmus, too. Uh, yeah, that was huge. That last, just that last tournament he went to. Now here he is. If he enters more, though, I, I'd love to see him next season come to a lot more stuff. See, like, see him just shit on kids and, yeah. I, you know, see, like, where he places. Yeah, definitely. And he is the only player um, outside of the top three to beat all three top players, um, which is kind of insane. So uh, here on the left, we see the medals. Um, Shifty, since he was an honorable mention, he got the bronze medal, um, but that doesn't take away anything from his run. Um, at the top uh, here, um, he has three wins and two losses to... Um, the highest tier of players throughout the season. And then, as you can see, he um, uh, he lost to two gold players and did not fight a single silver player. So um, he had a 67 overall win rate. Um, and his uh, most notable um, wins or set counts are 1-0 versus Sergeant Penguin. And 1-0 and versus Plasmius. It's a 100% win rate, baby. Yeah, that's insane. So, um, now let's move on to the, to the numbered PR. At number 7, we have Gunther. Yeah, yeah. Gunther yeah. going down two places, but this season has been way more competitive than got, last season got plasmius coming back got you know mold melee guys coming in just doing things i'm not making excuses for myself i didn't really do much this season but you know it's good to see people hungry There's definitely people, like, people are definitely like coming in brian especially has wanted it super bad he's like i'll literally come down he practices tech skill for two hours by himself wow Wow, the grinder. <laughs> but enough about Brian. Yes, yeah, yeah. so, so Brian has had a great, or HDK has had a great season. But uh, let's talk a little bit uh, about your season. Uh, your highest placing was at uh, Grimer's Oasis 30. Um, and that was relatively recently. Yeah. Um, uh, you took out Culprit. Oh, wait. Culprit took you out, put you into losers. You got the run back. Bro. You got the run back. And you took out HDK. And then you lost to me in yeah, the yeah, finals. Yeah, you, you were sweating. It's fine. It's I was fine. sweating, you know. But yeah, uh, it was close. <laughs> it was close, <laughs> but uh, uh, you know, still got the dub. Yep. So against the uh, top tier players, uh, Hunter had uh, Gunther has zero wins and seven <laughs> losses. Oh, close! It was, yeah, al it was yeah. almost one six. You know, fucking almost one six. A lot of game threes. Yeah. Um, and against the gold tier, he has one win and three losses. And against uh, the silver tier, which you'll see the next silver player coming up next, he has three wins and two losses. Um, he has an overall win rate of uh, 58%, and his best set counts are 1-2 and two versus HDK and 3-2 and two versus Culprit. Um, and as you saw at the start of this broadcast, uh, Gunther last season was ranked number five, and that is his all-time uh, highest ranking. Yeah. It's only down from here. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll see. Hopefully, you get on the grind, man. Hopefully, you stay on the grind. You know we get games say. after this. Oh, you already yeah. know. You already know. All right. All right. On to the next one. All right. And at number six is Culprit. Um, his highest placing was third this season, but that was um, 
he got some really good wins, uh, as we'll go over in just a second. Um, Ran into Nolan twice, though. That's yeah, that that's tough. Um, you know, seeding can really dictates how your run goes. So the better your seed, the more likely you are to have obviously an easier bracket. So um, you know, running into Sergeant Penguin twice, that's tough, man. Um, but so yeah, let's let's take a look really quick at YGL six, his best placement, and and let's look at Grimer's Oasis thirty two. Um, so at YGL six, he got his very first win, uh, against Plasmius. That was actually the only time they played this season. Um, which is pretty dang impressive. What is going on? What's that sound? Um, no um, and you know, before that he had some, he had a win on Gunther, he had a win on HGK, but that was really his breakout performance. And these stats r really don't do his run at YGL six justice because he beat focus who beat hot dog night. Right. Or HDK, excuse me. And then he double eliminate ghoul as well. He double eliminated ghoul. Um, who was also a contender for PR. Um, and you know, uh, he, he didn't meet the required, uh, tournaments to, uh, to make this list. Um, so that, a great run at our biggest event, uh, props to culprit. Um, so at six, he won uh, one set versus the top tier, uh, the ace tier. I don't know what's going on. I'm just going to mute that. One second, guys. I'm having some technical difficulties. Yeah, I've got some audio issues on my end. Hopefully it's not on your end. But so um, against the top tier players, he went one and eight. Against the gold tier players, he went two and four. And then against his... Uh, Silver counterpart, he went two and three. Um, last season, he was ranked number four, and that was also his all-time high. Um, he had a 58% overall win rate. Um, and his best set set counts are 1-0 and versus Plasmius, which is a huge upset, um, might I add. And then 2-3 and three versus HDK. So, no, it's, you know, it's not like a terrible... Uh, win record against Pro uh, against HCK, no, especially considering how well he did this season. Uh, and getting that win on Plasmius really just like cemented his place. Definitely, definitely. And so, um, our our Meta Knight uh, solo main comes in at number six. At number five, we've got Elclid. Please come out to more shit, man. Yes, <laughs> please, man. We miss you, and we see you. Yeah, the we melee, see you at melee. The melee guys do bring like a lot of good competition with them. I really hope you guys like come more often or just enter in the PM. You know, I know it's like a long ass list. Yeah, man. Yeah. So uh, even with four tournaments entered, he was able to secure. Oh, awkward. Sorry yeah. about your uh, fifth place uh, text being. Uh, <laughs> so small <laughs> <laughs> so uh anyways so uh man very consistent to the tournaments he came out to third at the first event uh third at um at uh tgo 26 fifth at uh, uh ygl3 and fourth at ygl4 um so lowest placing being fifth that's like that's pretty fucking good yeah, man. Especially like these losses, he's only losing. He literally only lost to you and uh, Nolan. Yep. So against the top tier players, he went one and seven. Against uh, his gold player counterpart, uh, he went two and zero. Oh. And then against uh, the silver players, Gunther and Culprit, he went two and zero. Oh. Um, last season, he was ranked uh, number three. And that is also his all-time high ranking. Yeah, I feel it's kind of weird having that all-time high when it's just one season, right? But um, before before all this happened, you know, so like I was playing a bunch, Nolan was playing a bunch, um, so it will come in. Uh, oh, for like the old heads, okay. yeah, for the old heads. So gotcha. Yep, and so um, for his season, he went uh, sixty-two percentage in overall win rate. His most notable set counts are uh, one and two versus Sergeant Penguin, and two and zero oh versus HDK. 
Speaking of which, mm. number four, <laughs> HDK, and uh, among two players, he's in a uh, rarefied air in Nebraska Project Plus where he entered every single tournament this season. We had 11 tournaments, guys, and HDK entered every single one. You know, looking a little rough at the start of the season, though, but after uh, the Grimers Oasis 28, when he had that, like, well, I guess at the start it was considered a Cinderella run. He just can, he just kept coming back, and he was like, no, no, this wasn't a fluke. Right. Yeah, so um, he had a rough start, but um, his first win, his first PR win was five tournaments into the season, and he got second place at that tournament. Yeah. Um, Tell me, man, when Brian gets tired of losing, he just starts. Running. Yeah, he turns it on. He's got insane fundamentals. Uh, previously number one in uh, Nebraska Smash 4. Um, very high, consistently high ranked in Smash Ultimate. And now coming into uh, his first full season of Nebraska, I guess his uh, second season. But really, this is his breakout season. Um, coming in at number four. Yeah. Um, He's coming second twice, and he's coming third twice. A lot of good wins, too. Plasmius beat you that one time. Uh, yep. Double eliminated Shifty. Yeah, most recently. Yeah, that I would say YGL7 last Saturday was his best tournament and secured him number four. Um, so beating Shifty, losing to me, beating Gunther, beating Shifty again, and then ultimately losing to me. In uh, loser semis, can't handle the curb. Losers finals cannot handle the curb, but you know it's it. They're never uh, blowouts, so I expect Brian to continue. Excuse me, HGK to uh, continue his path um, of um, improvement, and I think we're going to see another great season from HGK. Uh, I hope he keeps like. I hope he keeps up the grind. I think he's really enjoying the game. I hope he keeps with it. Yeah, man. And so against our top tier players, he went two and twelve, um, zero and two against his gold player counterpart uh, in Elklid, and five and three um, versus the silver players. So when you look at that, you don't think right away, why is he over Elklid? Um, but let's take a look at his notable sets. He also had a lower overall win rate, which can be chalked up to his early um, season performances. Um, but his notable set counts are one and zero versus Plasmius and two and zero over Shifty. Um, so it's definitely like he definitely had some good win, especially like being one zero and two zero on them. Also, that like I feel like attendance is also a pretty big factor in this. Like Brian went to everything; he had a ton of chances to play against people. Right, but. You know, hopefully. and just by showing up doesn't mean you're guaranteed yeah. <laughs> a spot. But when you uh, when you come out consistently and show up, like when you and you perform uh, and do well again, look at that. He um, after once he got a PR win, almost every single tournament he got a PR win. Right. Besides uh, thirty two, so um, pretty I, consistent. Yeah. After after that first uh, gamers oasis. He was looking pretty strong. Yeah, man. At number four is HDK, a new all-time high. And uh, let me, I got to play it, man. Got to play it. Has there been no music at all so far? Yeah. <laughs> Oops. All right. And at number three... Here's the plasma. <laughs> Dirty. Oh! Dirty. At number three is Plasmius. Broken ass character. Our our uh, local wolf main. Um, showing up last season, he did not attend at all. In the very first tournament he showed up to, uh, got second, and his second tournament won the whole damn thing. So let's take a look at his run, man. Uh, second, first, first, third, 
and oh, then a little bit of a stumble right there. But. A little bit of a stumble at ninth. Re, uh, collected himself at uh, Grimer's Oasis 32, uh, getting second, and ended the season with a, uh, a little disappointing, but a loss to Penguin and Shifty. You can't be too upset at that. But yeah, dude, uh, Plasmius, after that first season, he saw, like, scene was back. He was like, oh, shit, let me get in on that. And then he was just like, he reminds people why that he is good at, as fuck at this game. He has put a shit ton of time into it. He just he just came back instantly started beating people's asses. Yep. You know it's it's so it's it's so good to see like older guys come back and just like show these new kids what's up. Like you think you know the game, not really type of deal. You thought. Yes. You thought. <laughs> you think you know Project <laughs> Plus? Here comes Plasmius, man. Here comes a Wolf Laser. Good, and, good luck. Yeah. <laughs> oh man, destruction. But yeah, dude, at all these events, he's. Only losing to you, only losing the top three players. Yeah. Really, honestly. For the has, most part. He's two losses outside of top three out of how many tournaments he go to? Like nine? Yeah, he, he had... Uh, was, what was that, seven? Yeah, he attended seven tournaments this season. Um, And so now we've exited the gold tier and we're in, we're in the ace tier. This is a whole different beast, man. Um, the yeah, top. Jesus, look at that win loss and getting the top three. Seriously. Eleven to seven. Yeah. Um, versus top three. Man. Jeez. Uh, <laughs> what can you say about this guy, man? Like, um, we already knew he was good from the old days, and he just came back and showed us why um, he's a top tier player in Nebraska. Um, if he keeps coming out to this, he definitely seems like he wants to keep playing the game. I. I'm scared for everyone that has to play him. Yep. Um, and so last season he was not ranked. He did not enter a single tournament. Um, but I saw him again for the first time in a couple of years at Honeypot. And I'm like, hey, man, our scene, it's popping. And he didn't believe me. <laughs> and so he shows up to uh, YGL2, sees 21 entrants, and he's like, Wow. I believe you now. I believe you. And so, um, let, let's take a look at his... Uh, I mean, the, the numbers just speak for themselves, really. Four and five against you, seven and two against Penguin. Yep, and with a 68% overall win rate. He did tie his previous all-time high. Um, I think in our, our last PR um, before... Before the game died, basically, <laughs> um, uh, he was ranked number three behind Penny and myself. All right, moving on to number two. It's Sergeant. Penguin! Our local Link and Puff co-main. Wow, look at look at all those icons. Like <laughs> that's a lot more icons than we've seen all throughout this uh PR reveal. Um Man, uh let's just list off these uh these performances really quick. Second at the first tournament, third, uh third, second, first, second, third, first. So, like, every tournament he showed up to, man, he made waves. Uh, His then, lowest placement, fourth. That's insane consistency from Sergeant Penguin this season. Um, Especially, like, considering these losses. Zero losses to silver player, one loss to gold. He's literally only losing the top three. That's right. Um, and so let's take, yeah, he had a 69%, one point above Plasmius. <laughs> Uh, for his overall win rate, um, four and seven versus me, and two and seven versus Plasmius. Um, man, Sergeant Penguin, uh, just just being super consistent. I feel like he definitely gate keeps top three really hard. He's like, if you don't know how to play this game, you're just gonna get punished super hard for it. Yeah, you're gonna get destroyed. You will get destroyed. Um, 
you know, in that last tournament he had, the it was like game eight grands, you know, really rough set, like really like back and forth set. Mm-hmm. But after that tournament, I was like, I think that was like the thing that put him over the edge of Plasmius. It was. Especially considering Plasmius had a few bad tournaments. Uh, his lowest placing on this is fourth. Yeah. And considering he went to like almost all of them, it's pretty impressive. Yeah. Um, and so his uh, previous season rank was also his all-time rank uh, in number one and continued this season to show why he's a top-tier player in Nebraska. But we need to talk about the top player in Nebraska. And before we do that, let's check out my video. <laughs> <laughs> And at number one, it's Young Grime Lord. This man is his biggest hype man. That's all. That's all you need. Oh my goodness. Okay, it's time to fucking flex, baby. Yeah, all right. This is my time. You earned it. Last at the start of the season, you you said you were gonna you're gonna do it. Yeah. Let's take a look. Let, let's look at the premonition really quick. Let's take a look. Three tournament streak, baby. Going for four on Friday. I'm getting that number one. I'm getting that number one this season. Nolan, you see me? Plasmius? Whoever is coming for my title, this is it. <laughs> I'm getting number one this season. You, you hear that? I think I think we heard that. Y'all heard it. And I... <laughs> that's yeah. all there is to say. Um, at the start of the season, man... Uh, I came in as the second seed because Sergeant Penguin dominated last season, eight and O versus me, absolutely dominant. And honestly, I didn't really know what to do. And so I'm like, "Fuck it, let's try out my melee main. Let's play Fox." That is not the first thing you said. I remember <laughs> that Zelda, that Rob, the Zel- that was season but one. The, bro. But the Fox was the answer that you needed, at least for a bit. And then people told you to stick with Kirby. And now you're just shit. You're still just shitting on kids. Yeah, man. Um, and let's check out my very first win on Sergeant Penguin. Oops. Three tournament streak. <laughs> That was TGO 24, where I took out Elklid and double eliminated Sergeant Penguin. Um, Definitely a, a return of the king type of moment. Return of the grind, baby. Return of the grind. Okay, look at look at those golds. Look at those golds. I attended every single tournament. I won seven. Or yeah, I won seven out of eleven tournaments. Lowest placing fifth, bro. And then you got two seconds and a third, man. It's like Jeez. there wasn't really any any doubt. There's no doubt this season. Um, man, just <laughs> I'm just so fucking hyped. I worked my ass off. I wanted it so bad, and I fucking got it. So uh, enough emotion. Let's let's take a look. Put man. in that work, kids. Put in that work, and it will pay off. Um, uh, you can see the icons, man. I beat everyone. I have a winning record over every single player. <laughs> every single player. Um, you know, you know, you almost went even with Plasmius, but I yeah, did I, almost go. But you, but know, I you double, get, you double eliminated him at that warp record. That's right. Um, and you guys see the icons, man. Uh, dominant runs throughout the season. Um, I'm the only player in the red ace tier. Just kind of flexing really quick. So uh, this, this dude wanted to be number one just so he could be the young one. <laughs> That's right. I wanted to be the main character. That was that was my only inspiration to uh, get number one this season. And so versus the top tier players uh, against Sergeant Penguin and Plasmius, I went 12 and eight. Against the gold tier players, HGK and Elklid, I went 11 and one. And then against the silver players, I went uh, five and zero. Oh uh, yeah, you got one. And also, Shifty is not included 
in these uh, tier um, wins, um, and I was two and one versus Shifty uh, last season. Um, I was ranked number two, and that's also my all-time high from uh, previous years. I've never been number one. <laughs> but it feels good, man. It feels it's so like... fucking good. <laughs> it feels so fucking good. It's, it's well earned, man. Fucking making making it work with Kirby. <laughs> Kirby, fucking Kirby. And so, uh, the second highest overall win rate was sixty nine, eighty two percent, man. Eighty two percent win rate. Uh, and my notable set counts are seven and four versus Penguin, and five and four versus Plasmius. And that one gold loss, you lost to Brian once, you said not again. Not again, man. And then I think, let's check it out. Lost to him at TGO, TGO 28. Then I beat him one, two, three, four, five, six times in a <laughs> row. Um, Jesus. And I'm only flexing that win because Brian uh, is a great competitor, man. And yeah, no, dude, I was just a good out because that those uh those numbers uh for 12 and 8, 11 and 1, 5 and 0. Oh, man, definitely like top three this season was definitely like a fight pit kind of deal. Yeah, yeah. And top three were the only people to win tournaments, so. Well, hopefully that changes. Hopefully that does change. I hope you guys are still hungry. You know, it's been great seeing everyone come out to these things. Uh, definitely like pe people like competitive. It's good to see people passionate. Um, man, so that's our PR, but don't leave just yet. We still have uh, more announcements. Um, let's just, man, I, I just love. Uh, I just love looking at this slideshow, man. I, I, I like to take pictures at every tournament. I haven't taken them at every tournament, but it's just great to see everyone show up and have a good time. Um, because of your guys' turnout, Nebraska Project Plus is one of the... Uh... Yeah, Brian, really quick. There you go. Number four, since he's in the chat now. This is going to be recorded and uploaded. Though. Yeah, this In case be. anyone misses this but yep. yep um but so nebraska project plus is one of the biggest local scenes in the entire country it's that's just, it's um i think i personally am incredibly thankful for all you guys coming out you know this just started out as like tyler and i being like you know it'd be cool if we just ran pr or pm just for the fuck of it and now it's it's nice seeing all that hard work paying off. You guys are, I, I hope you guys are liking playing the game. Yep. You guys have been good to host. It's been a lot of fun so far. I hope you guys keep showing up to stuff though. Uh, we are planning on having a sort of monthly uh, type of bigger event. We have like a venue scoped out for it. We're getting some talks in. Uh, you know, there's definitely some people. We definitely want to get people to come out, maybe some notable names, but just be on the lookout for that, as well as being on the lookout for the Arcadian, which, did you, did we ever decide a date on that? Yeah, we, we have a date for the Arcadian, guys, um, so it's going to be, I don't have a slide for it, but listen up, <laughs> um, the Arcadian, um, a tournament where the top, where the power rank players will be banned, um, a, real uh time to shine for uh the unranked players um that's going to be hosted at the gamers oasis and it's going to be saturday um september 3rd uh the weekend after run don't walk so um so get on the grind get on yeah. the grind um it's your guys's time to um i know like it's not just the top seven who have been putting in work yeah no it's it's people have look been, at all those guys all those guys have been grinding. Look at Brian. That Look guy. Brian. That guy doesn't even didn't even play this game until a few months ago. Seriously. I mean, he played like Fox and Mel you know what yeah. I mean. You know what I mean. Yeah. So, um, yeah. So Arcadian coming soon, uh, but, September third. Uh, so the weekend after Run Don't Walk. But speaking of, uh, we are going to try a little bit of a different stage list and rule set in the coming weeks uh, in order to get people ready for uh, out of state competition. Run yep. Don't Walk. And for the people going, I would recommend like seeing if your opponent's fine with turning uh, auto L cancel off, just and like practicing without it. They they are going to be running it with it off, 
Not too sure how they're going to... Well, actually, aren't you running it? Yeah, I'm actually TOing Run, Don't Walk in Iowa. So, um, unfortunately, uh, auto L cancel on is not the standard. So, it will be turned off for that tournament. But we will continue to run uh, auto L cancel on in Nebraska. Um, but, like I said, like we said, if you want to uh, get practice for Run, Don't Walk, um, you know, try out some auto L cancel off. Um, and so, here... Uh, I also have another memory. Let's take a look at uh, one, our, one of our most iconic moments uh, from the scene. Oh, lol, we've been muted. Lol? So this is the YGL pass. <laughs> so um, at at our YGL tournaments on Saturdays, uh, every other Saturday, um, we are going to be implementing a, uh, a sort of uh, our YGL pass um, so that we can uh, better our tournaments. Um, we want to get uh, better stream equipment. We want the best quality VODs. Um, you know, we want to cool down TLF. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah. Definitely. One of the first purchases we will be making are fans. We uh, yeah. We've been roasting our pepperonis down there for a bit now. Uh, you know, uh, we hope. Like, I know you guys have like enjoyed not having to pay a venue fee. I really hope this isn't like a huge uh, like problem for you guys. It would. It will go a long way for us. Seriously. Uh, we we're definitely like <laughs> in the talks of getting some like stream equipment. We definitely want to get some commentary stuff going. Uh, I know uh, Justin was talking about wanting to commentate your like uh, your grands with Nolan. Yeah, and just seeing people like want to do more for the scene and the stream. And the YGL pass will allow us to do that, and it it's going to benefit the scene. Um, so a little bit about this: it's not your ordinary venue fee. Um, when you purchase uh, a YGL pass for five dollars, it'll allow you to enter two young gunther local tournaments um and that pass will never expire so if you uh as long as we're running ygl tournaments at tlf uh and you have uh one or two spots left on your uh ygl pass uh um you'll yeah, be able to enter you could come in at the first tournament of the season not show up for the rest and only come at the last one you're still good yep um and it carries over through the season so don't worry about it if you know you you have to re up next season. No, um, so um, and it'll all be. If you're worried about the logistics, um, it, it won't be a physical pass. Um, it'll be all tracked in a spreadsheet that I create. So um, yeah, we hope you guys like don't mind too much about having it. Uh, I like having the two for one kind of thing is kind of an incentive to keep you around. It's basically just like a month of games at TLF. Yeah. Wait, and you know those go on to like three in the morning. So we, Till three, baby. We, we hope you're getting your money's worth. You know, I uh, I see some guys just come in and just leave immediately after they're out of bracket. But I I encourage you guys to like just stick around, and game for a bit. Uh, you know, that's that's where the true level up happens. Um, are those uh, late night long sessions? Um, so and and since it's just at a tournament, you know, all the best players are going to be there. So. Um, keep showing up to YGL, um, our young Gunther locals. Um, they've been the biggest tournaments in Nebraska PM and Project Plus history. So thank you guys so much for just um, being a part of the scene, um, enjoying the game. Couldn't be here without you guys. Yeah, man. And um, I think that's it for us. Yeah, I think that's everything. 
Huge shout outs to Tyler for putting this presentation together. All the graphs you saw were handmade. This man puts his heart and soul into this scene. I hope you guys appreciate what he does. Uh, I don't want to say anything about myself either, but you know, I'm happy. I'm happy to run shit for you guys. I hope you guys have been enjoying streams and tournaments, but it's been really nice so far. And having having like top players in our stream and having like us be one of the biggest in the country right now, it definitely feels like a lot of hard work is being paid off. Definitely. Um, and you know, I couldn't ask for a. A better co to man. So thanks to Gunther for um, that's YGL baby. YGL. That's what we. That's what that's, we're here for. That's right. That's, that's right. right. <laughs> that's right. So so thanks guys for watching. Thanks guys for being a part of the scene. And we're gonna go play some PM. Yeah. You sh or P plus. You should too. Get on that grind. All right, guys. New season is starting. That's right. It's tomorrow. S season three starts tomorrow, guys, at the Gamers Oasis pre-reg on the Discord. And we'll see you tomorrow. Thanks, guys.